Hello to everyone and welcome to another adventure story marine engineering videos. Thank you all for watching my videos and today we will see about the NOx reactor. Okay, I will load this condition, I will press with the left click of mouse and then I will press F1 to start running the program. After that I will press home button to go to our systems and I will check the process overview to see all the systems in one page if it's working properly and correct. As you can see here all of the pumps is working, everything is working, management is running, turbo generator is running, turbine generator more correctly and a sub generator. As you can see there is no diesel generator number one number two working. We take our power from an engine, we have a generator connected here to main engine and here is the steam generator. Okay, very economy. And then we will go to our this NOx reactor to see how it's working. Where is this reactor? Where is this reactor? Where is Let's press process overview to find this NOx reactor. Okay, let's see where is this? Ah, main engine selective catalytic reduction. This. Okay, as you can see here, this is in auto, running in auto. Okay. <coughs> And uh, this here controller, NOx controller, receives the number of NOx which produce from an uh, engine, okay? And then it uh, calculates also managing power. Here you can see the power. And this is how it likes the, this system. There is an ammonia tank. The valve here is open. Here is evaporator. Here is one controller valve. And then it is going here to mixer. And from here it is taking air. The air is passing here. After here it became the mixture of air and ammonia in this static mixture and then it travels from this pipe passing here through this valve and then to scavenging air receiver scavenging air receiver it's a pipe long pipe which after that is connected to each cylinder as you can see here we have five cylinders okay this is our main engine. After that, when burn is take place inside the combustion chamber of a cylinder, then the exhaust gases is going out here from these pipes of each cylinder. Okay, there is also a pipe, big pipe, exhaust uh, gas receiver, and from there, there is some valves. Also, you see it's going to one more pipe, this is SCR reactor, okay? As you can see, you can sort blow here to take out any burning uh, part of uh, materials, of fuel, okay? And also we have here static uh, mixtures here, mixers, here and here. What's uh, happening, okay? Some quantity is sent here, okay? It's already mixed. Also sent here, it's already mixed. What is happening? The air is suction from here, okay? The burn take place here. And also have turbocharger number one and number two. The system now is activated, it's working. The exhaust coming from here and passing 
this reactor which inject ammonia. There is some chemical process which take place in uh, many engines. Okay. And after that, uh, the NOx is reduced uh, because there is some load in uh, mostly in California, which is very thick. They need lower noxes and sources but this only for nox part okay to reduce as you can see here we have also indicators of uh, nox this is ammonia and nox ratio okay and also we have ammonia ppm we have nox exhaust receiver that means the nox is uh, which is here in this part we can see how many quantity grams per kilowatt per hour is produced and then when going out from NOx CAS CR out from here you can see a reduction to 0 0.81 the entrance is 15.22 and the outlet is 0 0.08 okay 78 we have also turbocharger speed 7000 about okay and let's check if we put in manual mode the controller and we set uh, about 2 2.00 okay that means more ammonia is injected in the system uh, as you can see at the moment when the set point was zero there is a sudden increase of uh, grams per kilowatt because there are sudden change of uh, set points that way also there is a level of ammonia which is here of ammonia tank let's set uh, Let's set to three. Three. Also, if you set more, the ammonia level will be dropped quickly. Let's say six. four okay four maybe there is some limit as you can see we set four it's quickly going down drop <coughs> as you can see also here very important information is that our ammonia tank is located here this is as you can see the separation with line and here right deck that means this old system is located on deck. Why? I'm thinking this is for safety purposes because ammonia is toxic. It's very dangerous for engine room personnel when it's uh, happening a leakage. Okay, this is very important. And sure, uh, in the system, in old system, there is not 100% uh, sealed the system. There is always leakages. Leakages can occur from stresses because the uh, ships are not uh, static uh, constructions they are constructions that every time are under pressure, under stresses and all the ship, all the construction of the ship is moving okay it's like an alive organism okay this is the main purpose that that's why uh, our ammonia tank is located on the deck this is very important. One more another thing, I believe that this system is very expensive. But uh, sure, this system will be installed on the ship, which uh, travel in locations like uh, like California, which where the law is uh, very thick, and this is very important that uh, they need to protect to protect uh, their environment and.
maybe there are some special areas to protect. It's very good, very nice move. But all personnel must be qualified with that. Okay, let's set in auto. As you can see in auto, there is better working of this system. There is some parameters which maybe will take more in auto than in manual. Okay, also we can see here the exhaust gas temperatures of each cylinder and we can see also the exhaust gas in the exhaust receiver, okay. As you see here, the exhaust gas temperature inside the exhaust gas receiver is uh, slightly up. Uh, as you can see in the cylinder is 358 and after that it's going 300. 97. Why it uh, happened this? The reason. The one reason is uh, because there is from here it's one pipe, okay, and here it's five going inside. Maybe that's why the sum of them will increase the total uh, temperature and exhaust gas receiver, okay. Maybe the other thing is that the pressure drops across these pipes will increase the temperature as maybe the gases in drop pressure will be evaporated quickly. That's why maybe they produce some moisture because even you have a fuel which is clean, which is uh, separated in purifier, there is always a presence of uh, water inside the mixture, okay, the fuel mixture. Also air, which is entrance inside from scavenging air receiver, is uh, also obtained moisture, okay. You cannot take out from air 100% its moisture, okay. Uh, this is how it likes our managing selective catalytic reduction. And uh, it's a very nice system, as you can see, you can reduce your NOx almost to zero. Okay. This is, and there is also some trips, ammonia supply, ammonia pressure, mixing air supply, excessive ammonia slip, and ammonia leakage, uh, this is very dangerous. Okay, thank you for watching, bye-bye. Uh,